everybody, welcome back to another I don't want it and I'm not gonna buy it. In today's Save My Money episode, I've got a few luxury items whereby I found them to be a little bit too similar, too odd, and too expensive. Hey, if you have any of these items, please don't get insulted. I am not out there to mock you guys. This is just me having a chit chat with you and laughing about us luxury lovers spending money on on weird looking things, you know, but if it makes you happy or it makes me happy, who cares, right? So let's get started. Number one, this Gucci basketball bag. <laughs> okay, I actually saw this in the Gucci store in Singapore at uh, Paragon and when I saw it, I was thinking, oh, it must be a bag for a bowling ball because it is the shape of a bowling ball. I checked online and it is just a basketball shaped bag. It is really, really strange, out there, you know, odd, and I guess it'll make a statement. It is a statement bag. I know, I know, but it's not something I would spend my money on, so definitely not something I would buy. So I went online to check the US prices, and this basketball bag, well, maybe if it was a couple hundred dollars, I may have considered, but obviously it's not because it's from Gucci. So the price of this basketball bag, which I guess could be pretty functional, right? It's really huge. It's $1,980. It's almost $2,000. I find that a little bit too much to spend on something so not like a novelty item. And then I saw this other one. The first thing I thought of was a durian. Like, seriously. <laughs> Even my husband thought it was a durian, so definitely not buying it. Number two, the Balenciaga top handle bag. Now it's spelled as V-I-L-L-E. I don't know whether it's Ville or really Val <laughs> because when I saw that bag and I've seen it in store, the first thing I thought about, because I said some of these bags are just a bit too similar, it looks exactly like the Alma from L LV. So I thought that was a little bit of a uh, copycat and then to kind of like disfigure it, <laughs> they put the entire Balenciaga word just like stuck there. They just copy the bag and then stick the word Balenciaga back. Balenciaga there. Personally, I think it's a little bit tacky. I think the design on its own is really classic. It's a beautiful design bag. I mean, Alma has been there for the longest time. And this bag is, you know, very, very, very similar in shape. And, but when they stuck the words there, I thought it was like, hmm, trying to make it look a little bit different. But obviously, it is such a copy from the Alma bag. So because of that, I am just going to say no to that design plus the price. Okay, let me tell you the price. So, for the medium size Val top handle bag, it's even more expensive than the Epi Leather from LV. And the Epi Leather PM size from LV is $2,160. It is cheaper. It has, you know, a little bit more history to it. So, personally, I would stick with the LV design. I can get it in the black Epi Leather rather than buy this Vile bag. Number three from Balenciaga again, the kitten shopper bag. Oh my goodness, so while I was scrolling for the picture of that Ville bag or Val bag, I saw this <laughs> looking back. Now, you know, Balenciaga comes out with these funky bags once in a while, you know, they made that bazaar bag that looks like some of those, you know, the ch shopping, those really uh, market shopping bags. Then they came out with this plastic shopper bag. What they wanted to do for that thing, this is a real plastic bag, they wanted to mirror that, you know, when you cut out this hole uh, with the plastic, you wanted that kind of handle. So they wanted to mirror this expensive bag like a plastic bag. A little bit like another, another novelty item. Pretty cute and then they, get this, they stuck some pictures of kittens and then it was a puppy one. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to spend my hard-earned money on that. And this plastic bag is free, or maybe it's five cents. That plastic bag or plastic bag is $1,500. That's crazy. Number four, this Celine sea bag. I have been waiting and waiting for the new Celine bags to pop out on the website. Before it launched, I mean, you can go to the Celine website now and you can take a look. They've got all the new bags. They are launching most of them in the middle of November. And I do quite like some of the designs. But before that was like, you know, you couldn't enter the website or anything, they kind of like blocked it. 
So anyway, I was looking at these bags. There are other designs in this particular C bag line. Other colors, just plain and just beautiful. But this particular color combination plus this quilting, the first thing I think about, because I said in the beginning, a lot of these bags look something very similar. When I looked at this bag, I thought of waffles. I don't know why. I thought of waffles. The brown and black combination plus that squarish, you know, checkered quilting. Not even, yeah, it's checkered quilting. It looks, it looks like a waffle. It looks like a waffle bag. Now, there are no prices on the entire website. There are if I had a choice, like if I were to pick this particular sea bag, I would pick it in the other colours. The other colours are beautiful, plain, or even like if, if you know I could afford exotic, I would buy exotic. But this particular colour combination is a uh, no, no. I love brown and black. My Prada Cahier bag is this kind of brown and black and gold. It's a very similar combination. That's what caught my eye. But when I looked at that bag, I said, eh, it looks... It, it just doesn't look go. The quilting throws me off. That, that is, you know, it's it's a, like a horizontal quilting. I don't know. I, I don't like it. I maybe I'm so used to Chanel's slightly, you know, diamond shape quilting. When I see it squares like that, it just looks like a chessboard. It looks like checkers. It looks like it looks like waffles. Okay, so yeah, maybe the color as well because brown and waffles in my brain. So no. And number five. This Chanel accessory. I was checking out the app because the spring summer collection is out and you know I kind of like this sailor thingy collection you know the colors are blue, red, white, turquoise you know it's really beautiful and very fresh. So I saw this accessory and <laughs> you know I always wanted to put a float on my neck. I always wanted to have a float necklace. It was always in my dreams. <laughs> so when I saw it I was like oh Mmm, that's a float. <laughs> but wait, the price. That float is 4,000 Singapore dollars. That's an expensive float. And finally, a bonus item. The LV Wave Collection. Oh my goodness, I know some of you out there are gonna jump at me right now and then I think <laughs> I deserve it. Okay, I deserve it. But this bag, the first time I saw it, I... Two things jumped to my mind, okay? Two very similar things jumped into my brain, like boop. The first thing, it looks absolutely like the Gucci Marmot bag. I feel like it is a adaptation <laughs> of the Gucci Marmot bag. Wave, similar design, chain, and you know, that the, the whole do, okay? Then, obviously, they did it in leather, which the Gucci Marmot has in leather as well. They call it the Wave, that's called the Marmot, you know, with everything. So, uh, that's the first thing that jumped to my mind. And the second thing that jumped into my mind, please don't kill me, please don't kill me if you have this bag, but I saw a bra. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I can't unsee it. I swear, I can't unsee it. So it's not that the bag's not beautiful, but that's all I see right now. The shape, that's all I see. So I, I won't buy this bag. I just can't not see it. I hope. <laughs> I love the multicolor line. I was really excited when I saw the multicolor on top of it. But the shape just threw me off. That shape. <laughs> I was like, uh, is it is it me? Am I the only one that sees this? Uh, what? <laughs> so, yeah. So sorry. So those are the items I'm picking for my Save My Money collection. Half of them are just novelty items which I want to share with you guys just to, you know, poke some fun on the luxury houses that are poking fun on us. But yeah, some of these items like the LV bag, it's just a personal... I don't know, a personal opinion that I won't buy it. I'm really sorry if any of you can't unsee it anymore, but just want to tell you guys, it looks like a bra to me. And I just want to end this video by saying that I haven't seen any really awful looking things from the luxury houses. I think um, they have kind of calmed down on the excessively crazy stuff. I don't know, maybe you know, the new year is coming, 2019, there could be a whole spectrum of more things to laugh about and how we spend our money and just how the luxury houses will just throw things at us and just put like a $10,000 price tag on it. I'm really excited to see it. I am really excited to see all these new, weird, strange, copied, adapt, you know, adapted stuff. I, I'm, I'm 
dying to see it, okay? So, till my next Save My Money video, you guys take care, and I'll see you then. Bye.